the last year. I'm like the third Winklevi twin right now, but <laughs> I've been following them around for a while and then learning how they dove from being the bad guys in the social network to being now worth billions of dollars in, in, in crypto. Do they deserve the credit of being sort of the Bitcoin billionaire? I do think so. I think uh, that I underestimated them, and I think this book redresses how they appeared in the social network. I think in that, they were the archetype of the jock chasing the karate kid around the gym in skeleton costumes, and now I see them as leading this new revolution into Bitcoin. Uh, how how uh, much of a gain have they had from this? Of course, they, they were well, framed as losing out by settling for you know, tens or hundreds of million on Facebook if, yeah. they, if they made up more than they would Oh, have. absolutely. So they actually bought in at $7 um, and they bought 200,000 Bitcoin. They bought about 1% of all Bitcoin. And so as they wrote it up at 20,000, they were worth billions, 4 billion. At 8,000, they're probably worth close to 2 billion. Um, so they did an, an amazing thing. They took their Facebook settlement in stock instead of cash and that stock ended up going up to around 500 million dollars so they ended up with a very large settlement and turned it into billions what Were is they true believers are they true believers or was it purely an opportunistic kind of lottery thing? no what really sold me on doing this story is that they're absolutely believers in bitcoin and crypto in the future of this technology so they went in not just as a sort of a gamble but they went in you know both feet in they think it's going all the way to the moon What's your take in terms, and that, your take on their take, as it were, right. uh, on, on whether it's Bitcoin that's going to go to the moon or whether it's broader blockchain technology right. and, and how that can, in fact, be a negative for Bitcoin itself? Right. I mean, listen, crypto is the future. You know, 50 years from now, we're not going to be walking around with pieces of paper and cured leather like medieval peasants bartering for things with cash. We're going to be using digital technology. And so I think they believe in that. But Bitcoin is the first mover, and it's the, it has all of that behind it. So I think they do believe that Bitcoin is the one. Beyond just investing in Bitcoin, I mean, what, what else have they got going on? Well, you know, they, they've got this uh, the, an exchange. They built uh, Gemini, which is a currency, a Bitcoin exchange, so that you can buy all sorts of crypto with it. Um, and so they've built a really large company there, and they, they're both feet in. The story tells their beginnings, where they found Bitcoin on a beach in Ibiza and went from there to here. Um, but yeah, they're 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 in with both feet. Are they, they trapped said. effectively in Bitcoin? If you own that much of the of the overall, <laughs> well, of course flow. you want it to go up if you've got that much of it. But I think that they've diversified a bit. I mean, they're really smart guys. They're banking on crypto. So if crypto goes, their exchange does well. You know, you don't just invest in the class; you own the casino. And I think that's what they're trying to do.